Throughout one's life, there's a number of existential questions that you must ask yourself for introspection reasons, self-reflective reasons, stuff like that. But the main one that always comes to mind is, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with a new show, the show that's going to be replacing Seven Deadly Sins Season 2. No, Season 3 did not win. It did not even come close to winning, which a lot of you expected, of course. But I will be honest with you. This show, Don Machi, um, or Don Maki, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. If you guys want to let me know, I don't want to sound like an idiot, which I always do. Um, Don Machi actually squeaked by and won the poll by about five or six votes the last time I checked, literally barely one. And some of you are very upset because you wanted Unlimited Blade Works to, to win, and I understand that, but when any poll ends, and if even if it's two, three, or four choices, if the top choices are close like that, and it's a battle and one barely squeaks by, it automatically guarantees the ones that lost are gonna be on the next poll like no matter what show it is because it's clear that a lot of people want to see them so don't fret guys i know it's going to be a while before we finish high q or black clover so this is going to be the next show that's going to be replaced but i'm sure unlimited blade works is going to be coming real soon so don't you guys worry and if i'm honest with you it's personally a little bit better for the channel that i don't have shows that i have to redirect to right now for um algorithm purposes watch time monetary purposes it's a lot better for my channel if i don't do redirects and so that's why sometimes it sucks to do redirects but you know i always do what i can for you guys to make sure you guys get the best viewing experience you can with that being said what do i know about this show absolutely nothing like literally nothing i do not know a single character's name do not know a single plot point that happens i know it has something to do with a dungeon and that's literally it like i thought don machi was gonna i was like wait is this the same anime because i looked up don machi on google to like look at the logo and stuff ready for like thumbnails and stuff like that i'm like is it wrong to try to pick up girls and i was like is this the same show what am i what am i watching what am i looking up but uh i'm excited i know kimchi and tofu personally have reacted to it i know can't stop imani shout out them they've reacted to it at some point i don't know if they've enjoyed it i haven't talked to anyone about it i actually don't even know if the copyright's gonna be okay with this i gotta hit up imani after this but this is the first episode so with any first and last episode of any season i think there's two seasons in this show the full length which is normally available on patreon is available to you guys for free so click that link in the description check out that full length come back here for the review and if you guys want to see that format and or early access for any of the other shows and support me at the same time consider checking out that patreon down below it means a lot if you guys do want to support but patreon's not really your Thing. if you guys could leave a like and a really nice comment down below it means oh 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 so very much but remember to follow me on twitch and on twitter uh i say we hop into this don machi episode one is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon um but the episode's called bell cronell adventurer i have no idea you know, we gods we gods talking to the first person okay that's an interesting choice. I guess if you're seeking thrill and excitement, why not? The power to fight monsters, what we call our blessing. What is this, Konosuba? Our familia. <laughs> Bell. Oh, okay. I was not expecting action. I was expecting more of a Konosuba type show. She looks like Darkness from Konosuba. But that Minotaur got fucked up. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. This is already... <laughs> okay. Maybe this is somewhat like Konosuba. He's still covered in blood? Bro, what are you doing? You're just dropping blood everywhere. Anya. So you have Bell Coon. Yep, Bell. Going straight down to the fifth floor. He's got a little dagger. Level one. That's true. 
Lady Wallen, that's the girl who saved him. Eyes Wallenstein. Loki, currently level 5. Strong and Orario. Wow. Sword Princess. Wow. Okay, but, you know, she might be focused on other aspects of her life. Oh, Loki family. Yep, so the gods have their own individual families that they give you the blessing, you become a servant of that family. Got it. Jesus, those are very small little... Yep. 1,200 valleys. I'll be honest, I'm getting huge Konosuba vibes from this, but I love it. I love Konosuba. See, I'd be working hard to get her. Aina. I love you too. That's what I'd be saying. I love you. <laughs> is that just something his father told them, or why is there just a manly narration voice saying this in the background? Who told him this advice? His grandfather. Yeah, except she saved him this time. That makes sense. She's the goddess Hestia, right? So she's the one who gave him her blessing. <laughs> she seems super fun and happy, and I like her, but there's a certain part of her that I really like. I can't put my finger quite on it. I'm not gonna say this looks like a hentai, but I could see this being the intro to a hentai. <laughs> Why does they have like a, a grid on their back tattoo? What is this? What is going on? This is a weird position to have to do this and get this information. That is true. Different family. I would be taking her advice right there. Those are his stats. So you have to access their back tattoo to get their stats and their level ups? That's interesting. So he does have a skill. Realist phrase. To go to grow. Interesting. Eyes Wallenstein. So that experience in the dungeon gave him that 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 ability. As long as his feelings remain intact, the stronger he will become. Interesting. I'm saying stupid bell coon. <laughs> Bro, this is exactly like Konosuba. We have way too many hot women in the show. Way too many. If I see a, one more hot woman, I'm done watching the show. I swear to God. Don't tell me she gave him that too. I don't know who I want to be with now. Aina, goddess, or this random lady? Oh my god, imagine your girl works at the pub and she can make you delicious food and be super nice and has a cattail like that other girl in there? Oh my god, I want this fucking show in my life. I'm already not watching the show. This has to be the last episode. I can't watch this show anymore. Ooh, ooh, but then I see it switches to shit like this. That look fucking dope. 
Good shit, Bell. Think of eyes. But technically, right, his love for eyes is what makes him stronger. So if he kept thinking that, he would be stronger and stronger. That ability sure is coming in clutch. It, that skill that's attached to his affection for someone else. I feel you, God. I'm right here. I feel you, girl. Don't worry. There's no way, though, this is a, this this has to be like Konosuba where something has to go wrong for Bell. There's no way everything is going to go this right for him. There's just no way. Oh, that's Bakugo. That's Nishinoya. I can recognize that voice from a mile away. Uh-oh, what, what is Eyes going to say about him when he's not there? You know, when he's not paying attention. Come on. Seventeenth floor? She is very hot, I cannot lie. She is very attractive. Oh, he runs out of there. He, he ran. I said runs. He ran out of there again. Damn it. Okay, so this is this, that's a good premise. That's a good spot leading up. Oh, he's going mad in the dungeons. Okay, but technically, because his wait is his love still the same though? Is he still gonna get this massive power spike in terms of abilities, or because he's heartbroken like that? Maybe his love is still the same. It was just like he's feeling more motivated now. He has to do it. He has to be strong. That guy got to him. Okay. I can tell I'm gonna like the show a lot though. Very funny moments, very cool action set pieces at certain times, you know, very video game fantasies elements, you know, like I love that kind of shit. In terms of criteria you need to make a enjoyable Dapper Darius video and or anime, uh, this has it all. You got action, tits. Yeah, you know, this is very, I'm just, okay. You know what I'm saying though? Like, I, I know you guys understand what I'm saying when I get huge Konosuba vibes from this. That's probably why a lot of you guys chose it if i'm honest with you because konosuba such a fantastic show you guys had such a fantastic time watching it i had such a fantastic time watching it you guys had such a fantastic time watching me watch it you know i could see where this relates to it but it's definitely different definitely like in konosuba uh, very similar aspects but like a, a very similar thing where i can i can see in this also in Konosuba, as I can't really, especially in the first episode, see an overarching, overarching plot right now. Like, yeah, you know, is it wrong? I think, long story short, is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? No. Especially if you do it like the way old late grandpa said, you know, save her, you get, you know, get to know her, talk to her, fall in love. That's just a classic love story in an RPG right there. That doesn't happen in real life because there's no fucking dungeons. Like, if there was a dungeon right over there, I'm, I'm going in there right now. I'm saving all the girls. That's just how it's going. But, you know, you know, I don't have my own dungeon, sadly. Oh, my God, bro. I cannot stand how many hot women there are in the show. And I cannot stand 
how many of them like Bell. Interesting name, by the way. But it's the exact opposite where in this one, no, it's the exact opposite in Konosuba, whereas Kazuma, our boy, and Konosuba likes all the women. He likes them all. I mean, you know, there's some that annoy the fuck out of him, but in terms of hotness, he thinks they're all very hot. And they think he's a pervert. They think he's a weirdo. Whereas this one, all the women like Belle. He's cute. He's an adventurer. He's nice. You know, all the women like Belle, but he's only likes his girl. Like, and his girl doesn't even know his name. Like, they were all... Re- it's like, I understand where he's coming from. And it so happens to be helping him out with his ability that he happened to get, which is fucking crazy. But I don't know, man. If it, maybe it's me coming from like a third party outside omniscient viewing. But if I'm looking down on this relationship, man, I'm choosing goddess. I'm Hestia, whatever her name is. Fucking, I, there's no way of not choosing her. No way. I think low key I, eyes. I almost said eyes because I want to say eyes old gown so bad. Ein summer. Um, there's no way eyes is even top three on my list. I'm choosing goddess. I'm choosing Ina, and then I'm choosing the pub girl over eyes. Like eyes is super hot. Don't get me wrong, but like. If one of the conditions of being with you is I have to be able to fight fucking minotaurs, you know, versus if I go with fucking goddess where she's going to heal me and do tattoos on my back or on my, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I do think the, the God aspect of it is very funny because it seems to be uh, Greek mythology. Uh, I mean, Norse mythology. Greek would be Zeus, Poseidon, all that. Norse mythology is, uh, wait, is Hestia from Norse mythology? I just know Loki is. And Loki, if I'm trying to remember, because I took myths and legends in high school, which was years and years ago. And I played God of War, you know. Loki, ooh, in this show, they called the family of Loki, Loki's family, the giant killers, which, if I remember correctly, wasn't Loki part giant? I know he was the father of Jormungandr, right? The world serpent. He also helped kill Balder. And he was obviously the tricky, the the clever, the sneaky god. But I'm almost positive he was part giant. He was either part god, he was either, was he father to Odin and who? Is this something I can look up? Because they called Loki's family. The reason I'm talking about this, they call them the giant killers, which is hilarious, you know, because there's a little, there's a little ties to uh, uh, there's a little ties to Norse mythology in there. You know, a cunning trickster who had the ability to change his. Uh, although his father was giant. Oh, his father was giant. Okay, maybe I just assumed Odin from fucking you know, uh, Marvel, which is not a good actual representation of lore whatsoever loki was represented as a companion of great gods odin and thor which is very realistic a yes 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 cutting trickster um yep yep greek figures prometheus tantalus uh with the female giant produced the pro- progeny hell the goddess of death yes he was the father of the goddess of death yes Produce, yes, 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 yes. And Fenrir the wolf, yes. Okay, okay. So yeah, no, Loki's family. I want to know more about Loki's family in this show and in context, of course. But what was that guy's name? Beat from Don Machi VA. Um, behind the voices, is it try is it wrong to try to pick up girls? Um, TV show. Let's look up this voice actor. Bakugo Katsuki. I knew it. And Nishinoya. I knew it. I could tell that was Botsky. Or fucking. I almost said Botsky. Bakugo's voice actor. And I could tell. I mean, it's just. I love his voice actor so much that no matter what I hear him in, I can immediately hear him. And I love that shit. But, uh, this is a fantastic first episode. I think I'm going to go watch the second one right now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, check out the early access and sit on Patreon, all that jazz. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you on this next one. Peace out.